Rumor has it that Eternals' cliffhanger finale will play a major role in the MCU's Phase 5. The MCU has always been very interconnected with the significant events of each project, having an impact on the others. It's been more than a year since Eternals left the Celestial Tiamat for dead in the Indian Ocean, and fans are wondering why this hasn't been addressed. So stay tuned and don't go away, because we're revealing how Captain America 4 and Eternals are connected, plus MCU fan theories about about Captain America 4. First up, will the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 5 finally address Eternal's ending? You're about to find out. 2024's Captain America New World Order will finally address the ending of 2021's Eternals, which saw a deceased celestial Tiamat protruding from the Indian Ocean after being calcified by actor Gemma Chan Cersei. The MCU sequel's story will center on an international conflict that emerges over adamantium. The infamous substance used in the fabrication of Wolverine's claws. Adamantium was discovered on Tiamat, which has now become an island since Eternals, and every nation wants it. These nations are willing to do whatever it takes to claim the island as their own. Word around Tinseltown is that Harrison Ford's Thunderbolt Ross will be one of the villains in Captain America 4, but there will likely be more villains as well, including the leader. Thunderbolt Ross is now the President of the United States, and his primary objective is to seize and secure the island and all of its adamantium, no matter what the cost. Sam Wilson's Captain America will assemble a group of heroes in order to try and thwart Ross's plans. To be clear, however, all official plot details for Captain America New World Order are shrouded in mystery and guarded like Fort Knox. Fans have been waiting for the MCU to address these catastrophic events. The arrival of an enormous figure in the ocean draws a lot of attention from world governments, so it makes sense that a political connected Captain America is used as a vehicle to explore these events. Next up, are the paths of Black Panther and Captain America about to converge? Let's dig a little deeper. It turns out the United States isn't only on a warpath for adamantium. After Black Panther 2, the US set its sights on vibranium, and if a rival presents itself and tries to take all of the vibranium, it will likely touch off a full-scale global war. This is likely the reason why Captain America opposes President Ross's attempts to excavate Tiamat. Sam knows that any such activities will likely lead to total war. For these reasons, some suspect that we're bound to see a convergence between Black Panther and Captain America 4 at some point in the future. Although, how exactly the global war will connect to Captain America 4 remains unclear. No matter how the story plays out, the consequences of this discovery will likely impact other MCU projects, particularly Thunderbolt's links to New World Order. Also, President Thunderbolt Ross's mission to acquire adamantium sets the stage for him to launch the Weapon X program in the MCU. If you recall, the Weapon X program is what gave Logan his adamantium skeleton. It's likely that New World Order will be the first step to introducing Wolverine into the MCU. And as I'm talking about all of this, I can't help but think of the Avatar franchise and the Resources Development Administration's quest to harvest every last remnant of unobtainium. I'm sensing a common theme here. My question to all of you is, are we about to see the MCU in the world of Pandora cross paths? We'd love to know your thoughts, so feel free to drop some comments down below. Up next, how is the connection between Captain America and Wolverine solidified? We're about to find out. Captain America 4 and legendary Marvel mutant Wolverine share a special connection. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and his team are attempting to bring the X-Men into the MCU fold in some very big ways. The X-Men reboot we've all been waiting for is still years away, and Feige explained, the contractual situation with the original Fox staff will be in effect until 2025. However, that's not stopping Feige and company from laying the necessary groundwork for the X-Men's triumphant return. Captain America New World Order will be chock full of X-Men Easter eggs, and feature a key connection to Marvel's most famous mutant, Wolverine. Captain America New World Order's plot will revolve around a key link to the X-Men's Wolverine. Marvel insider Daniel Richman says, Captain America 4 is about an international conflict over a new metal called adamantium. The island will be key to the 
the plot of the film, with every country wanting a piece of that new metal, and Marvel fans are super stoked that Adamantium is coming to the MCU. Because the film rights for the X-Men and Adamantium were locked up at Fox, Marvel Studios was unable to ever use them. So Marvel was forced to get creative, and they chose to make Captain America's shield out of vibranium instead of adamantium, the rare material that coated Wolverine's bones. We could see Hugh Jackman's Wolverine appear in the upcoming Captain America sequel, and it might be the first step in Wolverine's long-awaited return. Captain America New World Order hits theaters on May 3rd, 2024. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're bringing you the latest Marvel news. Next up, does Hugh Jackman have an intense training regimen when prepping for Wolverine? You bet. Aussie film star Hugh Jackman recently revealed his intense training and diet program ahead of his return as Wolverine in Deadpool 3, starring Canadian film star Ryan Reynolds. As you can probably imagine, the training process Jackman goes through to achieve the chiseled physique of the legendary superhero is not easy. In an interview with the famed CNN anchor Chris Wallace, Jackman discussed his rigorous training process for Deadpool 3, which involves six consecutive months of high-intensity cardiovascular and weight training. Jackman revealed that his training regimen is his sole focus in the lead-up to the start of filming. Jackman jokingly issued a warning to all chickens, saying that he'll be on the hunt for them as he sticks to his diet and exercise routine. Jackman further explained his process, saying, I've learned you can't rush it. I've learned that it takes time. So we have six months from when I finish to when I started filming. And I'm not doing any other work. I'm going to be with my family and training. That's going to be my job for six months, and I'm really fit right now. Now, there's one thing that about eight shows a week being on Broadway singing and dancing is. I'm fit, so I'm healthy. I have a good place to start. And apologies, chickens. Run a mile. Start running now, because I'm coming for you. This is the first time Jackman will reprise his role as Wolverine since 2017's Logan. Up next, did Marvel give Captain America a new superpower? Absolutely. Marvel's Captain America has an all-new superpower, and Marvel likely gave it to him accidentally. Steve Rogers is one of the most important characters from the golden age of comics, and to this day, he's as popular as ever. His powers have largely been mundane, but in Secret Invasion number 2, he was granted a new superpower that might even replace his iconic shield. Compared to superheroes such as Hulk or Iron Man, Captain America's powers are limited. Steve Rogers' main powers are strength, agility, and speed. His power set only includes enhanced strength, speed, and agility. Unlike a other heroes, Roger's powers cannot defy the laws of physics, although he can lift roughly a thousand pounds. Also, his super-fast metabolism enables his body to heal much faster than the average human. In Secret Invasion number 2, the Skrulls invade Earth, but their first agents are captured. After a gunfight, Maria Hill says that Captain America's skin is more durable than the average human's. 2022's Captain America Sentinel of Liberty series shows Steve Rogers accidentally shot in the shoulder by Bucky Barnes, and it appears that Captain America gained impenetrable skin. If Captain America does have enhanced skin durability, it couldn't have come at a better time. He's going to need it, and everything else in his war chest for Captain America New World Order. Next, is Superman more average than Captain America? Let's take a look. Captain America is an average kid from Brooklyn, but he lacks something that Superman always had. Captain America is often portrayed as having having humble origins, but Superman beats him in the average American category in one way. Unlike Superman, Captain America was not born with superpowers, and was born to Irish immigrant parents on the 4th of July. To be clear, however, many comic book experts believe that to be a lie, and insist that Captain America's real birthday and familial details remain classified. The comic book issue, titled Captain America Sentinel of Liberty No. 8, reveals that Captain America isn't as ordinary as he may seem, compared to Clark Kent. When Captain America bursts into a gas station somewhere in Kansas and asks the attendant to use the phone, Rogers is asked for ID and says, Sir, I've got no wallet, and I really do hate to do this, but maybe I look a little familiar? Rogers confesses that he doesn't carry a wallet or money on his person, something that Superman and average Americans do regularly. In the comic book issue titled Superman No. 701, Clark Kent walks across a America in 
instead of flying in order to reconnect with the people he serves. He enters a diner and pays with money hidden in a pocket within his cape. This shows that he grew up as Clark Kent, not Superman, and is more accustomed to walking around with money. Who do you feel more closely resembles the average American? Steve Rogers, Captain America, or Clark Kent Superman? Drop those comments below and let us know. Finally, can you guess which Marvel film is the highest grossing of all time? The Marvel Cinematic Universe's highest grossing film of all time is 2019's Avengers Endgame. The film raked in $2.8 billion at the box office. Directed by Anthony and Joe Russo and starring Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Mark Ruffalo, the Infinity Saga arrived at its epic conclusion in Avengers Endgame. Thanos wipes out half the world's population, and the surviving Avengers go their separate ways. Thankfully, Paul Rudd's Scott Lang escapes the quantum realm and theorizes that if the Avengers can retrieve the Infinity Stones, they might be able to reverse Thanos' evil deeds. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.